Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I have a bit of an interesting video for you guys. Uh, we are indeed back on Righteous Fire. However, this time around we've done something a little bit different. Uh, if you'll notice, my deaths are at zero and that is because we are actually playing the uh, Ziz Searing Worlds Gauntlet. Uh, it's an HC SSF exclusive event and after playing, you know, SSF just pretty recently, I figured, why not? I'll try it out again. Uh, I kind of did quit hardcore, but, you know, what's the harm in playing a very short temporary event? You know, play for a death or two until something happens. So, with that being said, uh, I want to go ahead and pop in a blue map because nobody Alex maps unless they're Giga Chad in this event. Uh, I'm going to go run it and then we can go talk about the build. For the most part, uh, what you need to know about the gauntlet is every single mob has... 70% AoE, 100% damage, so effectively two times damage. Two times multi-proj, all bosses or unique mobs have double life, and all mobs are 40% turbo, and if you die, you're dead for good. So, um, this character is, dare I say, honestly not very optimized, so I'm very impressed that it even got this far. Um, so like my typical normal RF builds, this one just adds an extra layer of survivability, which is by going block cap. Um, block cap usually um, is paired with Aegis Aurora or a recovery shield, but since we are in SSF, uh, I don't really have access to those right now. Um, there are definitely ways I can go about doing them like Expedition, which is really rippy, um, or doing like, say, uh, okay, Freeze Pulse, or doing, say, um, I forgot exactly what I was going to say, but... Anyway, like I would basically need a Shaper Shield for recovery on block, or I would need an Aegis Aurora for recovery on block to really, I would say, make use of my full block. Oh, why did my music just stop? That's weird. I must have time to gather. Another modification I did with this character is you'll notice I am not running Malevolence, so my damage definitely is not nearly as high as it was um previously i'm also not running skitter bots as skitter bots is usually gated behind uh, uh the squidward guy steering not steering exarch but his friend i am no beast of burden there we go oh arc nemesis that's what i was gonna say sorry um i think it's like shikari touched or whatever but i don't know anything about arc nemesis so i am honestly terrified to do anything regarding arc nemesis in this event because i just never really learned what arc nemesis does and you know people always say like oh just read the description of what they say yeah, i don't know if you know this about path of exile but a description doesn't necessarily tell you exactly like how the monster is going to interact with it especially like paired with all of the different modifiers that the gauntlet has so after this map i'll go ahead and pop up my skill tree and kind of show you guys exactly what i'm doing and kind of how i want to move forward with the character of course any of this could stop at any moment you know the second i die uh so that's why i'm trying to be as thick as possible to prevent that from happening i've noticed that honestly progressing past the yellow map seems like a complete nightmare it's just really hard to get the defensive layers that you need this early oh boy can you shut up i'm trying to talk The other thing is with Righteous Fire, um, one of the key things about Righteous Fire, which is why it's, you know, my favorite skill, is uh, usually no white monster should really ever get to hit you if it's melee. It should just be dead when it enters your ring. In a scenario like Gauntlet, that's a lot more tough to do because you're trying to build all these extra defensive layers. Thankfully, regular mobs don't get the life buff, but in general, you know, the higher content you push, the more damage you need to make up for the fact that mobs are also scaling. And that gets really tricky in Gauntlet. Hence why I am level 85 and I'm still running like yellow and higher white tier maps because it's just difficult, man. It's tricky. I'm still debating on trying to do my six link strat from farming Overgrown Ruin and Overgrown, Overgrown Shrine. But without being able to juice my maps like I did in SSF, uh it's i mean i haven't even found one card yet so i think i may just ditch that strategy and just hope for like a natural six link drop maybe through i don't know harvest or maybe i'll bite the bullet and go arc nemesis i'm not really sure 
I did get lucky with Harvest and get a 5 link, but Harvest is also super, super dangerous. It's an internal. Give me that. I must have time to gather my will. I don't think this boss does anything scary. Okay, good. I am no beast of burden. Alright, also if I look half asleep, it's because I do pretty much all my YouTube videos right when I wake up before the live stream. So, uh, let's talk about what I want to change with the build and some modifications that we've done. So, right off the bat, you can tell uh, the tree is slightly modified because we have come down over here. Uh, we have come down over here to grab Glancing Blows and Sanctuary. Um, Glancing Blows plus Sanctuary plus Safeguard along with the block mastery uh, puts us at block cap. It's important to note that we are using a 29% block chain shield and an anvil to make this work. If you don't have an anvil or a max block shield like this, like a 29 block, you will not be block cap. Uh, so my block cap is a little bit, it's it's like 8% above uh, normal right now, which is pretty good. Um, that's mainly from anvil though, for the most part. Anvil is something I definitely want to drop, but it's just really good right now. Without having any form of recovery, I just feel like my block is not necessarily wasted, but it's not the layer of protection that I want. So what I'm thinking of doing right now, and it's going to be a bit rough, is dropping purity of elements, fixing my resistances, then replacing purity of elements with grace, dropping my uh, sulfur or amethyst, putting on a jade flask, or put on a jade flask, and then switch my entire gear set over to armor evasion and try to spell suppression cap uh, even just hitting like 10,000 plus evasion would be pretty nice uh because the problem is is being block based right now and being a guy who has to like melee every mob in the face uh, i do take quite a few incoming hits and those hits are blocked but i don't get the recovery back so i feel like having evasion right now will make it so i occasionally get hit and when I do get hit, it gives my net life regen chance for it to regenerate until I can have a recovery on block shield. Um, yeah, the other problem with that is I do need to clear a toll to get Runa the Challenger because to do all of this, I would be dropping Unwavering Stance. Uh, and by dropping Purity of Elements, I'll lose my Immune to Freeze and I'll have to capture Peruna to become Immune to Freeze. And then I can still get stunned, but stun should hopefully not be that bad. It so far hasn't been that bad. I have played around with Brian King a little bit and it has not been that bad. Uh, currently this character is running and then I'll stop here. The 27 armor unbuffed, uh, when buffed we're at 45k. Um, we're sitting at a net life regen of 1.5 thousand. I'd say our ES regen is like two to 300 per second right now. Uh, 79 fire, 77 cold, 77 lightning, 55 chaos, 78 block, the extra max blocks from anvil. 75% uh, chance to block spell damage, fully ailment immune. At the moment, we have 30% reduced extra crit damage. Uh, I would like to take Sanctum of Thought for an extra 30% reduced crit damage. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty... Oh, and then we're 95% curse resistant. That's pretty much all we have right now. So uh, yeah, hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Uh, you guys should check out the gauntlet if you guys definitely have not. It's pretty fun. So with that being said, I'm going to catch you guys all later. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys all tomorrow.